Good evening. My name is Christian Bailey. I'm the CEO of Eastern Nebula Entertainment. Hi, my name is Aaron Sagan. I'm the COO. A little bit student helped me start our business. Uh, as a teenager, I like to listen to music a lot, and my headphones will get tangled, and they will get wire damage, and this becomes costly. So I thought of a solution, and I thought of wireless headphones. And thus, the Andy was born. Our business profile is to create 100% wireless headphones. We want to retail a product, and our company is also a partnership. Our goal is to produce unique 100% wireless headphones. In the long term, we would like to produce other electronic devices such as laptops, game controllers, and other electronic devices. Competition. One of our comp competitors is Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre sells for around $200 to $450. You can buy Beats by Dre off of their website, and you can buy them at stores such as Best Buy and Apple. Our competitive advantages are that our products are 100% wireless, our product has a group syncing capability, that means you can sync with up to four other people. Our headphones have Marifone earbuds, which is the same thing as main Tempur-Pedic mattresses, and our product sells for $150. Market analysis. We would like to start off by selling locally in the state of Florida, eventually expanding to the whole country, and then hopefully one day selling worldwide. We would like to sell to anyone who likes to listen to music conveniently and privately, using music, audiobooks, podcasts, etc. Also, we would like to sell anyone from the age of 15 and up because we believe anyone can listen to music. Our marketing plan is as follows. To sell our product for $150, to advertise on MTV, YouTube, Pandora, audiobooks, and other forms of social media, to have social media accounts where they keep up with information, to primarily focus on music lovers, and sell our product on Amazon and later on our own website. The economics of one unit. We're going to need 3D printing equipment, memory foam, speakers, circuit board slash technology, and around this will cost around $12 to $12.30. Our monthly sales projection shows that the months of January, August, and December are going to be our highest selling months. In January, it's because during New Year's, during New Year's the most common resolution is to lose weight. So that's why everyone goes to gyms and buys headphones. <laughs> In August, school starts, so the students always get the, the latest things, like for instance, the Beats headphones or the new Apple computer. And December, because, well, it's Christmas time and everyone gets gifts. <laughs> Cost of supplies. The definition of one unit is a pair of headphones. Our selling price would be $150, and then our gross profit per unit would be around $118 to $117.07. For the month of December, we will sell 600 units. With the selling price at $150 a unit, our sales would be in total of $90,000. After taxes and cost of flight, that would equal to $53,070. In the year, we would sell 3,162 units. Selling price per unit is $150, which would mean a profit of $474,300. After cost and supplies and taxes, that would be $279,477. Start the investment. To get started, we're going to need money to get registered in every state, and then money to start a manufacturing contract. Uh, we can't ask for a specific amount, but we're getting the patent situation. Right. Examples of 3D printing. For those of you who don't know, 3D printers are basically printers that they print 3D models. They can print anything from toys to guns. Today, we're asking the investors for 1500 just to get started. The e and &E Star Program. If you invest in e and &E, you'll become a Star Program member. This means that you will become a part of our newsletter. We will let you know information before we release the general public. Also, every December, if you are financially stable, we will send you a thank you gift saying thank you for investing in the e and &E. Also, you guys will be able to beta test our products before the release date and you guys will get feedback for the final product. Yesterday's invention, today's innovation, tomorrow's next best thing. Thank you for considering each and every other thing. Judges, your first question. Could you describe what your intellectual property would be in, in something like this and how you would go about protecting it? Well, what we want to do is we would like to have like our own patent. We're trying to find a patent and like create manufacturing contacts to protect as much of the information that we have to disclose about the product as possible. More specifically, we would like to get it copyrighted. So 
so we can have the right store fire. Second. You mentioned 3D printing. My understanding is typically you use 3D printing for, for prototyping, and then you would manufacture it, I'm assuming, overseas. I mean, what, what are your plans to, do you have, A, do you have a prototype? And, and B, you know, how do you plan long-term, you know, manufacturing? Um, so I think right now we have a non-working prototype. It's a sheet of paper that is a step-by-step -step of how to build the product and making sure we know how it works, the ins and outs of it. Um, we don't have the money to build a prototype, but what we use the 3D printers for is for cutting out pieces of manufacturing. Because what we can do is have manufactured all the pieces and then put them together. What we're going to do is we'll print out the pieces on our own, give them to the manufacturer, have the manufacturer just put it together, and then it'll sell rather than the manufacturer that the material will get put together. It's more cost effective. Um, we're going to be American made. We don't want to manufacture in China due to the conditions. So um, if we're just you know, we can't find a manufacturer in America, we will go to the UK. But we will make our own pieces, and then a manufacturer will build it, and then we'll sell it. Thank you. Let's have a round of applause.